Welcome to this demonstration on how to increase the storage capacity of the vSphere Storage Appliance version 5.1 online. In VSA 1.0, customers did not have the option of increasing the storage capacity of a VSA cluster once it was set up. VSA 5.1 introduces a new increased storage mechanism. It has a new link to grow the storage in the main data stores view of the VSA Manager tab. In this example, we can see that the capacity of each VSA data store is set at approximately 195 gigabytes. It's important to note here that we must turn off all I.O. to the data stores before we begin growing storage. Here, there are two virtual machines running, which will power off before we increase the storage capacity of the VSA cluster. Now we click on the new Increase Storage link to launch the Increase Storage wizard. In the Increase VSA Cluster Storage Capacity wizard, we can see that the current VSA size is 400 gigabytes, and the available capacity is approximately 128 gigabytes. This is the amount of unused space on the local VMFS-5 volume of each host. Now in the VSA total field, we will increase the size to 450 gigabytes. Then we click on Next to go to the Verify Selection window to check that the chosen size is correct. Once we've confirmed that the new size is accurate, we then click on the Increase button. Next, we see a pop-up that reminds us to ensure that no I.O. is occurring during the storage increase operation. Here, we click on the Yes button to proceed. Now, in vCenter Tasks, we can see that each VSA appliance is powered down, reconfigured to consume more storage, and then powered back up again. Once these tasks are complete, a new VSA storage data synchronization task is initiated so that those new parts of the shared storage are synchronized with another VSA. It's worth noting here that VSA is highly resilient to failure, and it achieves this by having a duplicate mirror copy of each NFS data store. And the reason warnings appear against each VSA appliance is that the appliances go offline for a short period of time during this grow storage operation. Once the increased storage task is complete, we close the wizard to review the new sizes of the shared NFS data stores in the VSA Manager Data Stores view. In this demonstration, the capacity of each shared data store increased from 195 gigabytes to 220 gigabytes, a growth of 25 gigabytes. We might recount here that we had requested an additional 50 gigabytes to be added to the VSA overall. But because each data store is mirrored, this 50 gigabytes is reduced to 25 gigabytes available capacity. This completes our increased storage demonstration. Thank you.